Well, hello guys. Today I'm going to show y'all how to put together that puff sleeve jacket that's trending. It's all over Instagram. It's everywhere. And if you want to, if you want to buy one, because when you look to buy them, a lot of them might be coming from China, and it's going to take a long time to get it. And then you don't know if when you get it, if it's going to look like the actual jacket, or if you're going to get it and you're going to be like, I'm not happy at all with this. So we're going to modify it from using a denim vest. And we're going to make the sleeves and a circle piece to go down at the bottom. We're going to make the puff sleeves. So I already, I already got this jacket. And I attach one sleeve already. Kind of show y'all. And I glued the collar around to give it that. So as you can see, those jackets that have been trending on Instagram. So you guys can go to the thrift store. If you don't have a vest at home, pick up a vest and cut the bottom so that it can kind of like stop at your waist then i cut it out a circle piece this is going to be the bottom of the jacket and you make it as long as you want your 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 little ruffle skirt to go around that's your decision on how long it needs to be so when you look up the measurements on how to cut a circle skirt that's what you're going to do in the puff sleeves so remember guys, this technique I learned from Misha TV. You get a sleeve and you see the armhole is there. I, I make it bigger. That's what's gonna make it puff because we're gonna ease it into there. And then here, if you can see, I added the elastic. So I'm gonna show you on this side. And this is a really simple jacket so you guys can make it in the pink. So this is like a stiff cotton fabric this doesn't have any spandex or anything in it so that's the type of fabric that i'm using i did get this fabric off of amazon put in army print fabric by the yard and look at look for the one you want this is a non-spandex so here to make the arms do the scrunchy effect see it on the opposite side from where the sleeve is sewn i put it there so that's going to give me this ruching effect the neck i just pretty much took the neck traced out this collar and I took a hot glue gun and attached the collar to there because I didn't want to try to sew all through there. So then now I'm about to set the sleeve in there and I'm going to put the sleeve on and then we're going to put the bottom of the of the jacket together and that that's going to be them trending jackets. So I seen one in pink, I seen one in um, nude, I seen one and royal blue i seen one in green i didn't see one in army print so you know i feel like hey why not do it it's got to be somebody got to do it it's got to be me alexa turn on the light please okay thank you so i'm starting from the inner seam starting to pin it around so yes the puffier you want the sleeve the more bigger you cut it okay you want it real dramatic cut it really dramatic and I like this fabric because it's like a stiff kind of fabric. So I'm pinning it above where the jacket is sewn together because I don't want to be sewing it. And, you know, I'm sewing on that thick piece. You can break your needle. And if you're going to sew denim, they do have denim needles. So don't use a, a lace needle. They're going to break. So definitely, if you're going to sew denim, you need to get a denim needle. So kind of like a reference, when I got to this side, I stopped it because this is where I'm going to start puffing it. So now I'm going to start pinning from here. And I'm going to show y'all how y'all ease that together. And then the last piece is putting on that bottom peplum and the jacket will be created. I actually think I got it a little too long, but we'll see. But when I saw the jacket, I'm like, oh my God, that is so wonderful. And I said, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this. And I hope you guys are able to see these videos because I don't know if I got in trouble for copyrights with uh, um, YouTube because I was playing other people's music and I see that a lot of these videos I load, it say zero views. So if you guys can just click another video, you don't have to watch it. And just let me know if you're able to see it, if it's available you know okay so if you see this jacket kind of gave me a reference from that back 
going across the back in this seam. So when I look at it, because I want my stuff to match up as far as when I started the ruffles. Because you don't want your ruffles to be off centered. So you see I started it right here and right there. So I'm going to take this and make a reference to it because I want my ruffles, I want my pleats to be identical where I started to where I stopped at. Okay, about right there. All right. Because you want it to be identical. You don't want to have one jet, one sleeve looking like that. Okay, so how are we going to gather this in? So as you can see, yes, it's too big. It's not going to fit in there, and it's made to be too big. So then you're just going to take it, fold it, and that's what's going to give it this puffiness. Fold it and put a little pleats in it. And you're going to keep pleating it until you make the jacket literally fit. Fold it. Fold it. And one last piece right here. Kind of keep all your pleats going in the same direction. Don't have them going opposite ways. Kind of have it all going in the same direction. So, ouch. So, the sleeve is set. So, I'm going to try it on and I, don't, I hope I don't get stuck. So, before you sew it, you know, just put it on your mat again or put it somewhere just to make sure that both of your sleeves is identical. And try not to get stuck. So see it has a little ruffle effect there. So put it on, put it on, and say we going. What a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. So we got the sleeve set. The last piece is to do the bottom of the peplum. And I should have doubled this. I should have got more. I actually probably got enough to, to, to do another layer. I probably do. Or you could do the tongue or your boots. So now we're going to take this peplum and we're going to do it right sides together. We're going to pin this. Okay. You got to cut some of this off. It's not reaching. So if it's not curving, that means I got to cut some off. It's not reaching the jacket like I need it to be. And the good thing, if this fray, it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter because I'm going to sew it. Okay, so we line it up to make sure it goes from corner to corner. There we go, from corner to corner. So now I'm just going to pin this piece on here and I'm going to put it together. And this is going to be one of those beautiful, trending jackets. And I know it takes a long time to get a lot of y'all stuff done. So I hope that this video reaches you guys. And because I, when I saw that jacket, I instantly, instantly fell in love with it. But it's just a lot of vendors will show you a picture of the original person that made it. And you will go to order that and you will be highly disappointed and be like, this, that's not what I ordered. But the time and the energy and the money it'll take you and you'll be like well the jacket was only 60 some bucks a lot of times you'll just eat it because probably to ship it back over there it'll cost you just as much so a lot of times we'll just take a a cut and say you know what forget it forget it i'm not even gonna worry about it but yeah when i saw those jackets matter of fact i wanted to show y'all look I saved the picture and they trending all over but a lot of times you probably won't get it
Can y'all see that jacket? It's real blurry, but see it? That's the jacket. So this is the one I got inspired by. So yes, I got inspired by that. And I decided to do a camouflage one. I decided to do a camouflage. So yeah. So yeah, so that is it. I need to cut some more. I need more room. So the wider I cut it, it's giving me more room to expand it. So, yeah. So, okay, guys. I'm going to put this together. And when I come back, I have the jacket together. And we back. And we going. What the money was I? What the money was I? Okay. So, as you can see, the jacket is all put together. And you can see, it's all put together. So, with this fabric, I'm going to stand up and let y'all see it too. With this fabric, because this is a stiff fabric, you don't get the nice, like, uh, spandex. Um, when, when you cut a circle, it, it's kind of flowy and it hangs kind of like this. So, if you see the volume that this one sort of have. And, well, this is not spandex, so we don't, we don't have that. But it's a little bit more flowy. So, let me show you. So, a stiffer fabric, you're going to get your, you're going to get your, oh, Jesus, is that a pen? I thought that was a pen. You're going to get your flare, but it's not going to be like a flare, like if you're doing spandex. So, if you want it to just flare, flare, use a spandex fabric. I wanted mine to be more stiff. So, I think theirs has, excuse me, Gino, go back. Theirs have some, like, lacquer or spandex in the fabric in that particular one that I showed to you guys. So if you guys fell in love with those jackets like I did, I hope that this inspire you to make these denim jackets. Remember, you can use a jacket or you can use a vest. Right here at the waist, whether it's a jacket or a vest, cut off about three inches from the bottom so it can stop at your true waist because you know normally jackets go down so when you put the peplon on it cascade around so if you're looking for that full flowy look you know to use more of a spandex with some lacquer or spandex in it this is an all cotton stiff fabric i wanted this jacket to be all cotton stiff so it don't have that flowy flowy i wanted it to you know to be this fabric i got the boots all ready to match it so i hope you guys enjoy uh me showing you how to make these jackets and you guys have a awesome awesome day so it took me about i'll say because i was you know talking to you guys and doing it so i say about 20 minute project once you get all your stuff together and know what you're going to make and have all your pieces you go from there thank you guys happy sewing bye bye